Welcome back, guys. Today, we're talking about Darren Pittman, the driver out of Owasso, Oklahoma. He was one of the drivers on the 2002 World of Outlaws video game, and we will be documenting his career as a full-time World of Outlaws driver, as well as some achievements outside of the series. So, uh, this is going to be a longer video. We've done a couple of these so far where we've had to use two boards. Uh, I think Mark Kinzer was the first one we had to do, and we had another driver as well that we had to use two different boards. So, We've got all the years for him as a full-time driver as well as his overall World of Outlaws stats. I will have to get a second board going for his achievements and accolades. So uh, Darren Pittman uh, had a lot of car owners along the way in his World of Outlaws career, but he is one of the best of all time with the series. Not only a champion, but he's right there around the top 10 in all-time wins, and he's won some of the sport's biggest races, and he's probably one of the more recognizable names in the world of sprint car racing, you know, behind some of the, you know, the greatest of all time of, you know, Kinzer and Swindell shots and guys like that. Darren Pittman is probably in that tier, maybe a little bit lower in that, uh, the next tier down as far as recognizable names in sprint car racing. So Darren Pittman, let's get right into it. 1999 was his first full-time season as a World of Outlaws driver, and he did it driving the Sonner number 47 car. In 99, he had 85 starts, two top fives, and 20 top 10 finishes. He finished 11th overall in the point standings in 1999. In 2000, he steps away from the Sonner 47 and jumps into the number three car. This is the, game, this is the car that you actually drive in the game and it's his family-owned number three, and he would get his first career World of Outlaws win in the year 2000. 84 starts, one win, eight top fives, 21 top tens, and he was 13th overall in the point standings. Now, in 2001, he does not run the Outlaws full-time. He has 54 starts. He runs the Gum Out Series, World of Outlaws Gum Out Series full-time in 2001, where he wins the championship with that series. 2002, he's back full-time with the Outlaws, this time driving the uh, Donnie Woodburn, number 21 car, and he takes over the wheel from um, from uh, Danny Wood, who we talked about in a video not too long ago here on the channel. So Darren Pittman now driving the Woodburn 21, 80 starts, six wins that year. So uh, more than doubling his uh, tripling, quadrupling, whatever the multiplier of six is, uh, his win total in 2002. Uh, 24 top fives, 51 top tens, but still only 11th overall in the point standings in 02. 2003, back with Woodburn, 85 starts, 4 wins, 28 top fives, 57 top tens, but a big jump in the point standings. He, for the first time in his career, is top five in the overall World of Outlaws point standings with a fourth place result in 03. 2004, takes a step back, 73 starts, no wins, 17 top fives and 43 top tens, where he goes eighth overall in the point standings, and that would be his final year driving the Woodburn 21. And then in 2005, he drives the Cruck number 21 car and is in that car for four full time seasons, as you can see here on the board. The first of which in 05 is 80 starts, five wins right out of the gate with a brand new team. 22 top fives, 44 top tens, and he was seventh in the overall point standings in 2005. 2006, 67 starts, seven wins this time, the most he's had in a single year with the Outlaws, 36 top fives, 52 top tens, and he was fourth overall in the point standings. You could argue at this point in time, 2006, the best of his career with the Outlaws. 2007, 75 starts, another six victories, 25 top fives, 51 top tens, and once again, fourth in the point standings. So three times now that he's been fourth in the point standings up until 2007. 2008 will be his final year in the Cruck 21, and he has 60 starts, four wins, and he's got 10 top 10, or sorry, 10 top fives and 32 top 10s. So there's a couple points in time where he has a good year, and then the year after that, he really falls off the pace there. And 08 is a good example with only 10 top five finishes and only 32 top 10s. He finished 10th in points there in 2008. Now, from 2009 to 2012, this is where Pennsylvania uh, claims Darren Pittman to be a posse driver, even though he is from Owasso, Oklahoma. But now, since he ran uh, in posse country for four years, all of a sudden, he is forever enshrined as a Pennsylvania posse driver somehow. Not sure how that works, but he does leave the posse in 2013, and he's driving 
the Casey Kane Racing number nine car when he comes back to full-time competition with the Outlaws. So I was looking, and in 2012, he did run some scattered starts with the Outlaws, ran the last two races of the season in the number 49 car, and I believe that was the Casey Kane Racing 49. I could not confirm that, but I had to you know, take a wild guess that he ran the last two races of the year, the 49, and then he runs full-time in 2013 in the KKR number nine car. And so in that year, right out of the gate, after missing out on full-time action for four years, he wins the championship with the World of Outlaws, his one and only championship, kind of ending the dominance of Donnie Schatz there. So in 2013, 74 starts, eight wins, 45 top five finishes, 59 top tens, good enough to win the points by just 14 over Donnie Schatz. But as you can see here, if you're a regular uh, you know, viewer of this channel, uh, in 2014, I have that one written in green. In my opinion, this is the best overall season of Darren Pittman's career. Less a championship, but just look at some of these numbers here that he did. 88 wins, or sorry, 88 wins. That would be uh, unbelievable. 88 starts, 14 wins, 50 top fives, 76 top tens. But somehow, he's 281 points behind Donnie Schatz to finish second in the point standings. So uh, crazy stuff there that Donnie Schatz, even after this season that Darren Putman put together, he was still 281 points behind Donnie Schatz, which is absolutely bonkers. Um, 14 wins, though. And you can see why I wrote that one in green. Every stat on that line, with the exception of the championship, is a pretty inflated number compared to the rest of the seasons that we've read off so far. 2015, back in the KKR number 9, 73 starts, 5 wins, 30 top 5s, 55 top 10s, and jumps back down to 4th in the overall point standings in 2015. Now moving over to the left side, or the right side for you guys of the board here. 2016, 81 starts, 8 wins, 46 top 5 finishes, 69, that's pretty good, top 10 finishes, and he finishes 2nd in points once again, but this time he's 314 behind eventual champion Donnie Schatz. That would be the final time that he finished second in the overall point standings. 2017, 81 starts, three wins, 28 top fives, 56 top tens, and he finished fourth in points that year. 2018, 71 starts, nine wins. So he has a good year, then a, you know, a year where it looks like things are slowing down, and then back to a good year with nine victories, 24 top fives, 47 top tens, and once again, fourth in the point standings. 2019, the twilight of Darren Pittman's full-time World of Outlaws career is coming. 72 starts, 4 wins, 31 top 5 finishes, 53 top 10s, 4th in points again, and he's driving the first year of the with the Roth Motorsports 83 car. In 2020, the shortened season due to COVID, this is Darren Pittman's final year, 52 starts. He had that one win coming in Lawton, Oklahoma. I was there, one of the most special victory lanes I've ever been a part of. Darren Pittman at that point in time, uh, it was already announced that he was going to be leaving the Roth 83 car and going to the Hefter 72. And, you know, he had it took him a while to win from that last one in 2019 to that next one in 2020. And it was a struggle of a season. As you can see, only 12 top five finishes there in 2020. And Pittman was, I feel like he was down in the dumps and all this stuff. But he comes to Lawton, Oklahoma, right after the announcement of the Roth 83 that he's leaving. And it's going to be the end of his uh, career in that 83 car. And he goes out and wins in his home state. It was a, a riot in the grandstands when he won. And uh, that was a very special victory lane to be a part of. 12 top fives, 28 top tens. And he would end up seventh in the point standings after he left the Roth 83. He ran the last 12 or 10 races with the uh, Mike Hefter 72 car. So that's uh, his all of his full-time seasons with the World of Outlaws. Let's take a look at his overall stats with the Outlaws. And I forgot to mention that, you know, if you're not really familiar, Darren Pittman is still racing to this day. He actually ran second at the National Open at Williams Grove just last year, very, making, you know, scattered starts, runs the Kings Royal, runs the Knoxville Nationals, runs the National Open, might run a couple of other races here and there. But his days of full-time driving are certainly over, so was safe to make this video. Overall stats with the Outlaws, 1,472 career starts, 86 victories, which is now 11th on the all-time wins list. Great numbers there for Darren Pittman. 465 top five finishes. That means he was 31% of the time finishing inside the top five when racing against the Outlaws. 
And on the other side here, 877 top 10s for 60% of the time. Darren Pittman finished in the top 10. Great, great numbers for Darren Pittman. Hopefully you enjoyed this part of the video. Now let's take a quick break. Let me change boards and we'll talk about his biggest wins, his achievements, and his accolades in the sport of sprint car racing. All right, so getting into the accolades for Darren Pittman, uh, there is a lot of them. So not every single one will be on the board here, but these are some of the main ones that I was able to find and uh, as well as remember. So in 2008, probably the biggest win of his career was the King's Royal. And then he was also very good at Eldora. He won the historical big one back in 2003. So two of the biggest races at Eldora Speedway, Darren Pittman has won both of them. He was six, or he was second on six different occasions at the National Open. And if Darren Pittman fully retires without winning that race, I think that's going to be something 20 years from now where he's just that's going to be kicking him in the in the butt, thinking why could not why couldn't I have won that race right? Six times he's finished second place, and then he's finished a couple more times in third. So he's been on the podium, you know, seven eight times at that event. And uh, the most recent of these second place finishes coming just last year. He led a majority of the race and uh, ended up getting passed late by Brent Marks and ending that bid at a win at the National Open. That might be one of the like, the biggest storylines in sprint car racing, really, is Darren Pittman, will he ever win at the National Open? He was a three-time winner of the Knoxville World Challenge during the Knoxville Nationals Week, also a four-time winner of the Front Row Challenge, also during the Knoxville Nationals Week. 2013, he won the Silver Cup at Lernerville Speedway, a three-time champion of the Dirt Car Nationals, taking home the Big Gator uh, one year, I think it was 2019, he actually swept the Dirt Car Nationals, won all the races, although that was 2020, so it was only two races instead of the normal four. Also, he was the 2001 Gum Out Champion with the World of Outlaws Gum Out Series we talked about there earlier on in this video. 2003, he won the World Series Sprint Car Championship in Australia, and he has 10 wins with that series, so a pretty big deal at the time. He was the only American-born driver to do that. 2010, he won the now defunct Keystone Cup Championship in the state of Pennsylvania. That was a pretty big deal from, I want to say, 2009 to 2013 or 12, somewhere around there. He was also a 10-time winner with the All-Star Circuit of Champions, a two-time winner with the National Sprint League when that was still around, a six-time ASCS National winner, two-time winner of the Gold Cup Race of Champions, a two-time winner of the Summer Nationals at Williams Grove Speedway, the 1998 Knoxville Nationals Rookie of the Year, and he swept the 2014 at Morgan Cup at Williams Grove Speedway. So uh, you can see all the wins at the Grove, but none of them coming during the National Open Week. Darren Pittman, I would say Williams Grove was probably his best racetrack on the schedule, but was never able to win the big one. Hopefully that happens here. Uh, I know he's supposed to run it again this year for the Kreitz 69K, so hopefully they can put himself in position uh, to maybe go after a win during that race. So that's all we've got for Darren Pittman here today. Um, uh, Darren, one of my favorite drivers ever in sprint car racing, although I felt like in the 2002 World Outlaws video game, he I felt like he was like one of the slower cars. Is that just me? Like He was always going a lap down. They definitely did him dirty over at Ratbag during this 2002 World of Outlaws video game. So uh, Darren Pittman, a phenomenal career that isn't over yet. He is not fully retired. He is from full-time competition, uh, but we do see him from time to time and uh, always love to see him come out and race. And it seems like it does not take him long to get back up to speed. So uh, Darren Pittman, phenomenal career, won a lot of races, won a championship and a whole lot of other things. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Tomorrow we will be back for another driver looking at their career that was from this 2002 World of Outlaws video game. If you could, please hit the subscribe button. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the like button and hit the comment or comment down below what you think about Darren Pittman's career or tell me who we should do next in these videos. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow.